Hello, and welcome to Intro to Mime. In this video, you will be introduced to the basic elements of mime theater. So what is mime? Mime is a style of physical theater. You can't talk or use noises with your mouth. Instead, we use facial expressions and our bodies to make the invisible visible on the stage. Importantly, mime is not the same as pantomime. In pantomime, we use gesture to replace language, kind of like what you see here, not what we will be learning today. The first important elements of mime involve the movements of our hands. Our hands are the main tools we will use in order to create a convincing illusion. The elements are prepare, grasp, release, and relax. Any interaction you have in your mime scene will have these elements. Prepare, grasp, release, relax. Prepare, grasp, release, relax. This pipe exercise is an important one to master before moving on to more complicated actions. But even the pipe can be a bit of fun. You can play with pace and even mess with reality a little bit. The second important element of mime theater is the element of isolation. Anyone familiar with hip hop dance will be no stranger to isolations. Isolations involve moving some part or parts of our body while other parts remain still or seem to remain still in space. Abstract movements are expressed through isolations and most especially the trunk. The trunk is very important in mime theater as the isolated movements of our spine can do a lot to add to the illusion of resistance and help to communicate to our audiences how the character might be interacting with an especially heavy object. Isolations also means being able to keep a part of your body usually the hand, suspended in one place as the rest of the body moves. You should be able to move forward and backward, left and right, and even be able to change levels while maintaining this isolation. This next action puts everything together. Watch how the performer here is careful to be very specific with their hand movements. Prepare, grasp, release, and relax. The performer here also uses a couple spinal isolations called tucks. A tuck is a very useful kind of isolation that our actor here uses in order to communicate to their audience that the sliding door has a bit of weight to it. With these tools at your disposal, you are ready to begin exploring the world of mime. I will leave you with one final mime routine that will show you how the sky is the limit with this tradition of physical theater. Thanks for watching.